Hi, I'm Michelle the Irritable Vegan. I'm here to share my vegan low FODMAP journey and hopefully take some of the BS out of IBS. Welcome to FODMAP February. So first of all, I'd just really like to apologise for disappearing on you since December. There is a reason for that which I'm going to get into, but I just wanted to let you know I'm so grateful for you sticking with me and I really want to make a commitment to you here today to upload much more regularly to this channel. I'm thinking FODMAP Fridays, so hopefully moving on you can expect a bit more consistency. So where on earth have I been? Well obviously we had Christmas and New Year and I just took a really relaxed approach to FODMAPs. I didn't go crazy, I didn't go overboard and I'm really pleased to say I didn't have a massive flare up which is what I was expecting. I had a few symptoms but all in all for my first slow FODMAP Christmas I thought it went really well but I just wanted to take some time out completely to spend with family, to be very relaxed about what I was eating, what I was doing and to not really have to think too much about what was on my plate. Coming up towards January I had a lot of close family and friends decide that they were going to take the Veganuary pledge for 2018 and I was so excited. I did my own Veganuary back in 2015 and I just remembered how much support I got from online, how much support I found from YouTube accounts, from the Veganuary website and I really wanted to be a part of that, especially for those people that I was close to that were, that were pledging for this year. So I decided I wanted to help as many people as I could through their own Veganuary, give as much support as possible and I felt that the best place for that was actually my other channel. For those of you that don't know, this is not my original channel. I actually started recording my vegan journey back in 2015 at www.applefalltree.com and then a YouTube channel and an Instagram account grew from that and that channel had been pretty much dormant since I started my low FODMAP journey and I wanted to make a dedicated channel just for that. But I felt that come Veganuary, the content that I wanted to produce was much more suited to that mainstream, general vegan channel. And because of the nature of some of the content, I wasn't eating low FODMAP. It was taking a lot of time, energy and effort to produce the content that I needed to produce for Veganuary. So I literally didn't have any time or attention to spare on anything else but I just felt it was really important for me to, to give that support especially to those to those people that I was closest to who all did brilliantly by the way I'm so proud of them all I'm so proud of everybody Veganuary this year had over 165,000 participants which is more than double last year's figure and next year they intend to double it again to over 300,000 so they do fantastic work over there and I really felt like I wanted to be a part of that and, and show my support for that. And it didn't feel genuine to me to then be cross-posting onto this channel when I wasn't eating low FODMAP. I was experiencing some symptoms and flare-ups and it, it just didn't feel right for me to, to then be posting onto here. And I just literally didn't have the time or the energy to, to spare. But as I said, I did start to experience some flare-ups. I did start to experience an increase in my symptoms, not as drastically as I expected because I really wasn't considering FODMAPs at all throughout the whole of January. Just for myself, I did start to feel that something wasn't quite right and I knew it was really time to get back into a low FODMAP mindset. So for myself, I've decided that it's going to be FODMAP February. I'm going to do a little mini reset over the next couple of weeks, keeping it as low FODMAP as possible. And then I'm going to get back into my reintroduction challenges. For those of you that may remember, I did actually do a full eight week elimination at the beginning of my low FODMAP journey. And I'd moved into the reintroduction phase. So I just felt I wanted to get back into a little mini reset. I won't be doing an eight week reset. I'll probably do about two weeks of being as low FODMAP as possible. Going right back to basics. And then I'm going to get back into the reintroduction challenges. I just felt a little bit like the reintroduction challenges I did to begin with were a little bit inconclusive. So I'm probably going to re-challenge those anyway, but I'm going to attempt to do my reintroduction challenges over a much quicker period of time. I do feel that I drew it out a little bit too much and partly that was from poor planning, from, from making a few mistakes, from unknowingly eating things 
when I wasn't ready to reintroduce them and then having to wait to, to officially reintroduce them and things like that. So I just want to get back into a mini reset and then back into the reintroduction challenges. So I've got some great ideas for content planned for the next few weeks. One thing I'm really excited, I'm going to do an unboxing video for you. I actually received the Low FODMAP and Vegan book for Christmas and just because of the whole Veganuary thing, I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm going to do an unboxing video of that. I know Carrie from the Wild Gut Project did a really great review on that, so I'll leave a link to that below, but I'm, I am planning on doing a full unboxing and, and maybe going through the book with you. And I'm really excited, I haven't even seen the book yet, but I'm really hoping that that's going to help me get back on track throughout February. I'm also planning on going right back to basics with my eating, so there's going to be some very basic low FODMAP staple recipes coming out for you which is hopefully going to help anybody new to the low FODMAP diet and maybe help anybody that's in need of a little bit of a reset as well. Speaking of which, if you've taken some time out over the new year and you're struggling to get back in it, you're planning a little mini reset of your own, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Maybe we could team up and cheer each other on. As I've said, I'm so grateful for you to have stuck with me and I'm really looking forward to the content that we've got coming up over the next few weeks. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.